ventilators are complicated pieces of equipment. So manufacturers are having to think of innovative ways to scale up for demand. Jimmy Beecham, who I'm about to go and talk to, he's the chief engineer here, and he's working with engineers across GE to try and figure out ways of ramping up production. Jimmy should just be through these doors. There he is. Hey, good morning, Jimmy. Hey, good morning. This is uh, Jimmy Beecham, chief engineer here. Um, briefly, just start by telling me a little bit about what the plant here makes. Sure. So at Madison, we make anesthesia equipment as well as ventilators, um, and we do baby warmers and incubators. But what you see here are two different anesthesia machines, um, and then uh, you obviously see something missing here. Yeah, there's a, there's a big <laughs> gap. I'm, I'm assuming that's not on purpose. Yeah, so what used to be here is a demonstration of our uh, ventilator system, the R860 ventilator. And the reason it's not here right now is we've had such a huge influx of uh, new people coming on all three shifts to help build our product. We're using that demo unit to help uh, break it down and train new operators as they come in because any new Ford uh, unit that we make is critical to get to the field right now. You've got two special kind of war rooms that you've had to set up yep. in order to try and meet some of the demand. Sure. The, fir the first one is? Yeah, the first one is uh, one of the critical components inside the, the ventilator is the is a control valve and so we have a team set up expanding that and then in parallel we're i'm also got a, t a team of engineers working on a new valve design that would be backwards compatible to this valve so we have two approaches we're trying to take to meet that incredible uh, ramp up why are they so important um, so the valve is basically the heart of the system that controls the flow rate that helps the ventilation process so uh, you have to put a lot of rigor in to make sure what you're doing either from a capacity expansion or a redesign that they're safe and effective uh, so a lot of engineer work goes into that. And I'm assuming they need quite extensive testing as well. Very, very much so. Right. And how are you inspiring everyone to, to keep a focus at the moment? Because you're working 24-7, 365. You're working around the clock. Yeah, I think uh, one thing is people are just stepping up. They're very motivated. They want to be part of this. Um, it's, it's a part of your GE career that... You know, it, it, we've always worked to save lives, and now this, this is a time where it's very relatable to what every action we do will help save lives. On the valve side, what we've done is uh, we've pulled a, a really small team of sharp engineers together to think about how do we get this new valve designed in faster than we've ever done, but with the same quality we always expect. And what does, um, what does success for you look like, both on a daily basis and, and longer term? I think success is one is making sure as a leader we're helping our people do everything they need to do and getting obstacles out of their way. That's the short term thing we're focused on right now. Long term is getting as many units as, as we can out to the field to, to save lives. All right, Jimmy, thanks so much. Um, obviously, I can't uh, I'll shake your hand under <laughs> yeah. normal circumstances, but I think we'll just do a, a, a All quick right. toe tap. Uh, I know you're super busy, so uh, I think just what you've done is massively impressive when it comes to getting where you are. So hopefully, you can sustain that. Great, thank you. All right, take care.